Welcome everybody to Rob's Metalworks. We are finally breaking in 2018 and none better in supporting underground music with the thrashers from Long Beach called Railgun. They are here at the home studio. Welcome gentlemen. It's my pleasure to kick off uh, a new year at the program with you guys here. Honor to be here. Yeah, thank you for having us. Yes, it's a pleasure. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Uh, you know, lots to talk about, but first, you know, I got to say, I'm recovering from your show last night. Damn, good times. <laughs> good times checking out uh, you guys doing your thing. Um, and, you know, I have to give props to my camera guy who's holding, uh, who's filming right now, JB, because he was the one that turned me on to you guys initially. He says, Rob, I saw Railgun. Because, correct me if I'm wrong, weren't you guys here like a few months back or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, we were here like back in August when we toured with Brain Dead okay. at the Limelight. Yeah. So JB contacted us, Rob, you got to check this band out. They're sick. Because I'm always on the hunt, you know, for, for killer uh, underground bands. So last night, um, I had the opportunity to finally see you. Very impressed. That's why you're here today. So we can talk and share with you guys, uh, all the people out there uh, who want to also learn about new bands. So let's start right there. Cole, tell us a little bit about the uh, beginnings of Railgun. As I said before, you're from Long Beach. Yeah, yeah. I uh, just started in high school. We met at an art school, put the, uh, the band together and then uh, you know played covers and stuff and then started writing songs eventually uh, did our first tour uh, and this lineup is about a year and a half old uh, and this is it it's the four of us yeah so um, but the band initially started in 2014 is that correct I believe that's be true yeah and obviously you guys are all metal maniacs you know around uh, the LA area uh, what what were you guys going for when, once this group was together what, what, what were you guys saying cohesively we want to deliver this type of of metal because last night I heard a lot of different stuff you guys are shredding you guys are doing some really heavy stuff fast stuff um, so I was like all over the place trying to keep up yeah. so in your mind what is what is the vision so like it, it started out and um, like Cole and Bryce were really into thrash stuff and I wasn't really listening to much at all and um, I listened to like a lot more power metal stuff yeah. and I feel like we kind of swapped and like Got into bands like Amon Amarth and Cole showed me into Barum and like uh, I showed him like Symphony X and stuff and Winter Sun. Yeah, ah. totally. So we just started, uh, you know, getting all our influences and new influences together and just kind of going for it. And so, cohesively, what were you guys thinking? Like, this is what we want to do more, or just a good combination of everything? Like a good combination. Like I'd best describe our sound as like folk thrash. Wow, folk thrash. <laughs> Nice. Um, the labels, you know, I, I've never liked them. I think we just play what we want to hear, you know. Yeah. We, we get together, we write whatever, or we write by ourselves, and then and then we play it, and that's what it is. I think we're really developing our own unique sound. Yeah. It's a real, it's a good yeah. mixture of everything. Like Luke had said, we all have such different backgrounds. Um, like for me, I kind of come from like a Ven Sevenfold background where yeah. they were really uh, melody based and yeah. like they they incorporated so much that really influenced it, yeah. me in my writing. I think that's a I think that's a really great statement because sometimes it takes you know I've seen young bands kind of you know you hear a lot of their influences in their music and then finally something happens and you hear kind of them develop their own sound. Now uh, you guys kind of came out of the gate pretty fast. Uh, you released uh, a full-length uh, record uh, in 2016 called World Domination. It's out there, people, in case you want to check it out. It's on Bandcamp, right? They can download it, buy it uh, on uh, sites out there. Be sure to check it out. But I know that you guys are kind of, you know, that was already almost two years ago. Yeah. So um, let's first just quickly talk about World Domination. I don't want to ignore it. Uh, looking back now at that piece of work, how do you, how do you feel about it? Uh, how it represented the band and where you were at that time. Yeah, um, it was it was good to get something out to have songs to play live. Um, but the new stuff, uh, most of which we've been playing um, live, is definitely a better representation of us now, and, and we will be recording that uh, upon arriving home. But um, that, that's a good album. I mean, we do play songs live from it, but not nearly as many as the new uh, as the new songs we have. Okay, so last night I heard some new stuff. Then yeah, yeah. Yeah, most yeah. Of, most of it was new. Yeah. Okay, killer. Um, so that record um, came out, and obviously kind of got the name out there, gave you guys a reason to go out there and, and support and uh, hopefully, you know, sell a few CDs and, and put it back into the band. Um, so let's talk about here and now, um, talk a little bit about the new music. How has, uh, how have the songs kind of evolved musically from, from what was on World Domination? 
<laughs> yeah, well, like, when we started out, I mean, I think there's been almost a natural selection of a sort in as far as the songs that have worked their way out of the set list and the ones that are still standing. And it, to me, it's really cool. I think we play this the older songs, like, so much tighter now than we, we did back then. But mm, yeah, um, the new style is definitely, like, a lot different. It's um, very much fusing, like, melodic um, metal with thrash so it's, yeah and sometimes it's like blatantly one or the other and then a lot of times it's both together so it's just fun yeah you know and one of the things too i'll admit you know and i don't want to bash the sound guy last night but cole you know i couldn't hear you too well uh because of the sound last night but when i was hearing uh jamming to world domination i could hear a lot of the things that you're doing vocally kind of doing some of that high clean vocal can we expect uh, more of that are you doing anything different vocally um, yeah, I feel like I've developed um, a lot vocally uh, in the past couple of years, um, have better control of my voice. Um, definitely do the high stuff. I've also learned um, a bit more, how to put a bit more grit into the vocal. Yeah. Um, but diverse um, vocal styles, and we got um, heavy harmonies coming um, yeah. on the next album for sure. Yeah. yeah. Lots of uh, growling too, that's something really? we have been working oh, yeah. on. Who's I'm, doing that? Colton? Um, I, I do a bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Kind of bringing my own flavor. I, uh, I've been working on <clears throat> a lot of singing uh, with these guys, just yeah. improving yeah. myself. Yeah. And uh, I kind of brought in the idea of um, different, like a more guttural low that I'm used to with like uh, Older Testament. Yeah. Uh, like off the Demonic album that really inspired nice. me to yeah. start doing nice. really low, gnarly vocals. So. Very you know, it's hard to also, you know, we cannot ignore and I have to talk about it because any band that sees you guys live or hears your music knows that you guys are really guitar driven. Uh, Luke, God, I, I love how you shred on stage, man. God, you, it's a beautiful thing to see. I was like, holy crap, you know, <laughs> this dude's a beast. And I loved seeing it, man, you know. And I was telling, uh, you know, my peeps here before you guys arrived that, you know, your playing is just so fluid. You, you look like you know you're not struggling at all it's it's just so like you know hand over fist with you so uh hopefully we're gonna see a lot of that too on the new record right oh there's there's oh, definitely yeah. gonna be a lot of solos it's um it's actually funny you mentioned that because it was bands like immortal guardian um and just kill like local bands yeah. here that that i saw that like inspired me to you know just get like the like the playing so counter like balanced, you know, and get yeah. get that so you could like just work on swinging your head around and stuff, and <laughs> you know, same with your home with your homies. Yeah. You know? I, I think one of the things too um, that I loved about it was, uh, you, you know, you, you do have some some melody in your solo work. Um, in uh, in addition to the the speedy stuff, and you're not just doing the speedy stuff, saying hey, look at me, but really you you really have this really nice. Um, voice with your guitar great stuff so let's talk a little bit about the technical stuff where will you guys record the record uh, when you get back to uh, Long Beach uh, we're still talking about it but okay. where there are definitely a, a few names okay. that we're considering but um, at, at home somewhere at home yeah I mean, I mean everybody has a good studio around that area too I can imagine right. yeah. um, so can you share at this point uh, how many tracks uh, and, and a title can you share a title yet yeah, yeah it's uh, Going to be called Chronicles um, because most of the uh, all the songs are are stories, um, I suppose. Uh, it's going to be nine songs with probably an intro, so ten however, or nine, however you want to think Chronicles. of that. But. Cool. And and, and yeah. does the Cole should I assume as the as the singer that you do most of the lyric writing? Um, I do I do most sure, but um, with this album as with uh, lots of things that we've um, evolved in our sound, the writing has uh, of the lyrics is is dispersed as well. So. Um, all, th all four of us, right? Okay, great. So, uh, stories are these like uh, stories from the road, or stories from a struggling band, or you know, uh, uh, stories about you know personal things in your happening in your life. Uh, it's mostly like fantasy stories. Like we got one song that's about King Arthur, and then oh, like cool. we have another one. That, we have another one uh, uh, that's about a Viking, and then nice. yeah, stuff like that. Oh, okay. Like kind of like uh, fiction stories, Think, yeah. Things you would read. Um, oh, okay. In novels. <laughs> okay. Most of it, or history. So once once all the work is done for Chronicles, when would you like to guys see see the record released into the market? Um, 
Soon. soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, soon. It's it's coming <laughs> soon, so you guys yeah. watch out for it, and it's gonna be good. Does that mean like by summertime? Yeah, at least um, summer. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're working on going overseas this summer, so nice. we're, yeah, we want to definitely have that package ready to go ah, by then. Cool. Cool. So. Um, obviously, you know, you guys, you guys are an unsigned band, great momentum right now, new music. Um, is it, would that kind of, is that kind of the goal to kind of secure like a record deal to kind of get some distribution, get some backing behind the band? You know, a lot of, you know, especially in this day and age, you know, a lot of bands are DIY and, and they're satisfied with that. Uh, what, what are your goals in regards to like the business front, even though I don't like to talk a lot about the business front, it is still something that you know, bands do have to think of on the back end. Yeah, once we get this album like mixed and mastered, like I do want to definitely shop it off to some labels to see if we can get a good deal and see if I guess if anybody if we can get anyone to release it. And I mean, if I think it's like if we have to, uh, if, if we have to do it uh, like on our own, then we will do it independently. But if we can get a good label to sure. release it, then I'd like to do that. Nice, nice. Yeah. So you guys are uh, doing a, a double shot here in San Antonio. I'm happy about that because I was telling Jay Vito, like, man, next time these guys come, we're interviewing them. Uh, so when I found out you were going to be here again, I was like, well, let's do it. Let's take advantage. Uh, and and uh, you know, I'm glad that we're here able to do that. So you guys are like on this short run right now doing like Southwest shows. Um, you guys like being out on the road? Is that something that you guys strive for? Best, best life to live, man. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. No, no, no uh, bad stories. Like, obviously, I, I saw your nice, your nice white van, so no problems with that. Because I've seen some guys, I've seen some bands go out with a like a ratty van. I'm like, you're gonna drive that all cross country? You're pretty freaking brave. <laughs> we had had, yeah, we had had a, a Nissan. I call it the soccer mom van, and that's that's when we have it loaded with all of our gear, and then I have a drum on top of me, and I have amps oh, falling on me yeah. as we're going to the next. So the state. white van is new. I mean, it's, yeah. it's new to the, the game. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. How much, how much better is it in the white van? Oh, it's Infinitely better. <laughs> much yeah. better. Yeah. Much better. It's a blessing. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Absolute blessing. Sweet. So, um, obviously, uh, you guys will go back and work, and then obviously go out and support uh, Chronicles. Uh, so is that the plan for the, for the rest of this year? We're still early. You know, we just started 2018. Is that the thing, to be out on the road for as long as you can in support of this record? Yeah, absolutely. Get, get, getting the album out and then, uh, like Luke said, trying to go uh, overseas to Europe uh, in the summer and touring as much as possible, yeah. How, how, uh, talk a little bit about that because, you know, that's you know, going over there and, and building your market in, in Europe uh, can be quite advantageous because obviously, you know, heavy metal in Europe is, I, I think, more than in America considered, you know, a very true art form. And you know, once you build fans out there, they're they're with you forever. So it's very important. Um, how how did that kind of come into the fold? How did how did how do you guys want to make that happen? It uh, it initially started with um, just playing together with these guys. Uh, my other band, Ninja Gandhi, they had brought up the idea of doing a DIY tour uh, through Europe, which uh, would be interesting for us because uh, a lot of our booking we do in the states uh, is DIY. So to do it overseas, it, it's a challenge. So we really want to conquer this and kind of show the world what we have. And uh, you know, a lot of bands do have those labels to back them and to help with the touring. Uh, but if we can do it on our own, like that's how we're gonna Sweet. get it done. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, like, it's definitely gonna be a whole new challenge. Like, considering that, like, not only do we have to hit up the venues, hit venues and promoters yeah. in these different countries, but also like we have a bunch of expenses to pay, like. Right flights and uh, gear rentals and uh, like transportation yeah yeah, yeah I mean, and also yeah and we also just like want to show like I guess like all the other bands in the scene today in our town that you know it's possible to do it like yeah. DIY yeah. yeah well guys I, I, I hope that it happens and I hope that everything comes together uh, with Chronicles I hope to uh, be one of the first person to uh, hear it uh, once it's out. So guys, do not forget about me now that you've been on Rob's. Hopefully we can we can talk about Chronicles later in 2018. I'd love to have you guys back. Um, any last words, anything that you'd like to share with the people out there uh, around the world who will see this interview? Uh, support heavy metal, please. <laughs> and uh, we're coming for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now is the time to do what you want to do. Don't wait. Take action. Um, do it. Nice.
Come on, Bryce. Please buy our record. <laughs> oh, e easy. <laughs> Very easily said. <laughs> just, just shred, dude. Yeah, like, yeah. Luke, yeah. That's what you do well. That's easy for you to say, Luke. <laughs> Remember, everyone out there, God, uh, how can you forget the guys from Railgun? Be sure to go out there, look for them on social media. Go to Bandcap, get world domination, get kind of get a feel for these guys. Their new record, Chronicles, coming out later on this year. You saw the band right here only on Rob's Metal Works.